train horns, and the rattle of a rail car took the place of wedding bells for Rose and Barbie Evans. Learning, laughter, and light. But it didn't keep family and friends from cheering for the happy couple. How many people do I know that got married on a train? <laughs> None. It's really awesome how many people were able to come on such short notice. Got it together in about two weeks, I'd say. It's a huge occasion to pull together so quickly, but Rose Evans says it's a big relief as another milestone is coming soon. It feels great, especially with the baby on the way. It's awesome that we can be married before the baby comes. But her partner Barbie Evans says the marriage won't be recognized in some states, so she's still taking extra legal steps for their child. I'm doing a second parent adoption so that no matter where we go, I am the legal parent. So um, if we were to go to Wisconsin and, and the baby got sick, then I would still be recognized with the adoption, if not with my legal married status. And just yesterday, Rose couldn't share Barbie's health insurance. But now, Rose won't need government assistance. So now at this point, we're able to get married and pay for our own insurance, like every other person. Friends are excited to see the big day finally arrive, but it wouldn't have happened if the law wasn't changed. It's amazing. I don't know, I, just like Barbie, I, I, didn't, I didn't think it would happen in my lifetime. I thought it would happen in our children's lifetime. So to see it kind of happen, it, it feels a little fast and it feels good. The couple says they feel pretty much the same. Only now, the law sees them as married. It's really nice to celebrate and make it official. In Duluth, Travis Dill, Eyewitness News.